Right then, let's go and get an MOT. Right everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am on my way to CNA Superbikes in Kings Lynn uh, to get myself an MOT for, for the old girl. Now uh, I, don't, I don't anticipate any uh, any issues with the MOT. Uh, Lord knows I've done enough work to this bike uh, that it should fly through. Uh, but you never know, sometimes things surprise you. So we'll, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I do like this place, CNA Superbikes, the guys in there, good bunch of guys, uh, quite chatty. Uh, not sure uh, how chatty they'll be today, obviously with the COVID thing going on, but um, yeah, norm normally they're, uh, they're up for a good chin whack. Uh, and hopefully we can still, uh, we can still have a look around the, uh, around the showroom at the bikes, because uh, that's what I tend to do when I'm in getting my MOTs. Um, anyway, uh, I just want to mention my uh, gear indicator. It's, uh, it seems to be working beautifully. Shifted up to fourth there. And uh, yeah, and um, also, while we're here, let's, uh, let's have a look at this glorious uh, Moto CNC bar conversion. The comfort is, is night and day compared to, uh, compared to what we had compared to what I had previously. Um, the, uh, obviously this, this bike is marketed as a sports tour, or was marketed, should I say, as a sports tourer. Not, uh, not an all-out sports bike, and also not an all-out tourer either. So um, it had a semi-sporty um, riding position. And uh, as such, over a little bit of distance, I, I did find it used to give me achy, uh, achy wrists. That's probably because I'm knocking on a bit now. I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, the, um, the the difference is, as I said, it's night and day. There, there doesn't feel like I'm not. I don't feel like I'm leaning over. I don't feel like I'm leaning over the bars. Oh, there's the VTEC. Oh, I do love the sound of that engaging. Yeah, I'm uh, going back to what I was saying anyway. Yeah, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm leaning over the bars um, like I used to, and I, it feels much more relaxed. And the grip that I'm having to put onto the bars as well feels a lot more relaxed as well. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not having to grip as much as I used to. I, I don't know. It's quite hard to describe. But uh, yeah, um, I, I'm well made up with these. These are uh, these bars are absolutely phenomenal. Not a uh, not as uh, nice a day today as it was yesterday. Yesterday was absolutely glorious. In fact, the whole weekend was beautiful. Um, but it's not terrible. At least it's dry, uh, and it's not that cold. Um, I think it's about 10 degrees or so. Um, so, yeah, it's not uh, it's not terrible. It's nice to uh, nice to get out on the bike again. It's been a while since I've actually got out and ridden it. Um, in fact. Uh, I'd be lying if I was to tell you that this isn't the first time that uh, I've been out since I did the handlebar conversion, but it actually is. So this is the first time I've actually ridden it since I did it. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's lovely to to get out on the bike and give it a ride um, again. The uh, the front tire on this is also brand new because uh, I had that replaced not long ago. Uh, in fact, um, when I did the uh, when I did the front wheel bearings. Um, at that time, 
was when I did, well, that was when I uh, replaced the tyre um, and I did the wheel bearings while the wheel was out. So yeah, that was quite a while ago. Um, but we haven't had great weather, have we? Uh, and uh, I have the luxury of being a fair weather biker. I don't have to ride my bike um, if the weather's poor because that's what cars are for in my opinion and I would much rather take a car if it's raining. Um, although I do adore riding bikes. Um, but I don't adore it. I don't adore it in the poor weather. And here we are, CNA Superbikes. It's a nice little place this. I've actually bought a few bikes off these guys, to be fair, and uh, they've always done me a pretty good deal. They do, uh, they do bike training here as well. I need to uh, get my lad in and get CBT sorted out. Right, catch you all in a bit. Okay, so while uh, while my bike's in having its MOT, let's have a little look around the showroom at what they've got. Nice clean 750 there. They had this uh, melee for a little while. I remember seeing that uh, last time I came in, back in uh, August, I think it was, when I MOT my GSXR. That been, melee's been there a little while. These, uh, the Ducati Dival, they're. Uh, they're pretty beef then. I quite like them as well. I'd, uh, I'd quite like to have a go on one. Ducati Multistrada. Got a couple of Multistradas in there. Nice Triumph. Strada. Not not everyone's cup of tea, um, but I quite like the uh, quirkiness of them. Nice uh, VFR 800, 2017 model, six and a half grand. Looks clean, jivvy uh, jivvy screen on it, jivvy gibby however you pronounce it. Uh, but it's nice and clean. And some say in the fastest colour. Big touring machines, the big pannier rows and that sort of stuff. Nice beamer there. They're uh, six thousand two hundred quid for that pannier row. It's, uh, it's a heck of a lot of bike for the for the money. Right then guys, well the good news is, we've got an MOT. Now I'll be honest with you, I haven't even looked at the certificate, so I don't even know if he gave, any, gave me any advisories, but he never mentioned it. However, knowing Mark, he probably, uh, he probably marked me down for, for a noisy exhaust, because he does have a tendency to do that, and I don't blame him, because obviously he's just got to cover his own back. Um, but yeah, the uh, Mark and Craig and CNA, they're uh, good guys. Uh, I've been... <laughs> I've been there, I've been there about 50 minutes and uh, a good a good 35 minutes of that was just chin wagging to be perfectly honest. Mark likes to talk about his, uh, his racing days, he's a uh, former racer, stopped racing about 20 years ago. Um, and Craig's, uh, Craig's a good guy, the guy that owns the place, he's, uh, he's a nice guy, really nice bloke. But yeah, we've got an MOT. Uh, <laughs> 
Mark actually came out and said, oh, I can see you've been a good boy with your brakes. You've got brand new pads and all that stuff. He uh, gave it a good once over and he said, uh, he said it's obvious that it's, um, it's looked after. So <laughs> you can't say fairer than that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's head off. Head off home. I think a uh, trip back home and a nice cup of tea and a slice of cake. I think that's what we need. I do love this bike. I love the way she sounds, I love the way she rides. She's different, uh, you know, she, she, she's so different to all my other bikes. Uh, being a V4, it's got a completely different character. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely bike to ride and I, I, I I'm overwhelmed with how good these uh, these bars are. They're something else. I'm really, really pleased with them. Really, really glad I did this conversion. The infamous Hardwick roundabout where Mr. Mr. Uh, BMW X3 or X5 or whatever it is decides to run a red light. It's quite common around here. You have to be careful because uh, despite the fact that I had an orange, I could have uh, I could have launched quite quickly and I probably got sideswiped. But uh, it's uh, unbelievable the amount of times that happens. At this roundabout, people are always jumping red lights because they can't be bothered to stop. Everyone's in a rush. Anyway. That's it guys. Uh, this is the uh, this is the first of my little vlog videos, I guess. I've not actually done one before, so uh, and I've had the camp I've had this uh, drift ghost camera for ages. And uh, never done it. In fact, I rarely use the drift ghost camera, but uh, I've got it mounted to the side of my helmet. Just to uh, record what's going on and uh, obviously it's recording my voice as well well it better be anyway <laughs> we'll soon find out when we uh, come up with it in the footage but yeah so we've got a we've got an MOT on the VFR uh, I'm back at work tomorrow tomorrow on Friday I'm at work um, and you know what I think I might uh, I think I may take this give it a good ride out to uh, ride out to work I, I, my commute is about 37 miles each way so it's a it's a good run out and uh, yeah, I think I'll uh, I think I'll quite enjoy that. It'll be early in the morning though. I'll I normally leave for home. I uh, leave home at around about twenty past six. And uh, when I'm in my car, I'm normally at work for around about quarter past seven. So I'll probably get there a little bit earlier on the bike. Uh, but it'll be uh, it'll be good fun as long as the weather stays nice. Uh, ho uh, here's you know here's hoping that it stays dry. I don't mind if it's uh, a little bit cold because it'll give me a chance to it'll give me a chance to use my uh, my Kais heated vest. Um, I've, only, I've only actually worn it once, um, and I tell you what, it was absolutely brilliant. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get that out and uh, plug that in, and we should be all right. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to sign off here, let you all go, and uh, I'll see you all again for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye bye now.